two fishermen are feared dead after prawn trawler capsized on a Scottish loch. Captain Duncan McDougall, 46, and Fritzenek Krovchik, went missing after the Nancy Glen sunk while out on Loch Fine, in Argyle. A major search and rescue operation was launched after the boat's crew made a distress call at around 6 p.m. on Thursday. Plus forum guy D equals I 6313 F 5 C 5 C 0 at 527 SRC equals HTTP colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash I slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 20 slash 10 slash 48 52 A 6 C 6 0 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 5 2 9 1 6 9 1 image A 1 underscore 1 5 1 1644512821.jpg height equals 453, width equals 634 alt equals drawlers on Loch Fine, in Argyle, where two fishermen went missing after their boat capsized class equals block sporter share greater than plus forum guy d equals i8 c 2737 a 3 a 1 d 26 c 92 src equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 20 slash 10 slash 48 52 a 2 add 0 0 0 image a 2 underscore 1 5 1644513275.jpg height equals 453 width equals 634 alt equals Duncan McDougall, 46, and Pritzamek Krovchik, went missing after the Nancy Glen sunk while out on Loch Fine, in Argyle, pictured, an RNLI crew out on the loch, class equals Block Sporter Imkshire, greater than John Miller, 34, who was pulled, from the water by a fishing vessel, told rescuers his two crewmates were still missing. Advertising again read invented by Teeds but more than 24 hours later the search operation, focused on waters north of the village of Tarbert, was scaled back yesterday with no trace of the men found. A witness said crew from the Calmac ferry tied a cable to the stricken vessel in an effort to stop it capsizing, the Scottish Sun reported but the sink severed and the boat plunged into the water and sunk. The witness said, it was a heroic attempt to save the boat. The only thing that could be seen of the Nancy Glen was the hull. Suddenly, the bow of the boat sank and only the stern could be seen. It was later reported that a Royal Navy crane was on its way to steady the vessel but could not reach the trawler in time. Mr. Miller was taken to hospital in Loch Jolped, Argyle where staff described his condition as stable. Plus forum guy d equals i67 d26678 to 6 e0526 src equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 20 slash 10 slash 48 52 a 58 b 0 0 5 7 8 5 2 9 1 6 9 1 m a j 3 underscore 1 5 1 6445137199.jpg height equals 453 width equals 634 alt equals a major search operation was launched on Thursday, but it has since been scaled back class equals block sporter share greater than Mr. McDougall's uncle, Thomas, who lives in Petswood, South London, said the family were distraught by the terribly upsetting news. The fishing port of Darbert which is home to all three men, has been left reeling by the tragedy. Free Church Minister the Reverend Robert McLeod, said, The community is clearly in shock, it's a very somber place today, the families involved are waiting for confirmation. Both the Church of Scotland and ourselves, we have opened up our church for people who want to go in, for quiet and reflection. There are people involved directly, there are still people involved in the search and rescue part of it, and there are the families, those who are struggling. Something like this touches everybody, it's a very sad and solemn place. Fishing boat operator John McAllister, from a Argyle, said Mr. McDougall comes from a well-known Tarbert fishing family who owned the Nancy Glen. 
He added, it is very sad. I have known the McDougall family since I was a kid and Mr. Krovchik has lived in the village for a while. Tarbert councillor Anne Horn, a neighbor of Polish barn Mr. Krovchik and his wife Gosia, said, they are a lovely family, they have lived here for some years. All the men involved are from nice families and are all experienced fishermen. Plus forum guy. D. Equals IB 56 C 33 70 89 A 5 E 0 7 3 S R C equals HTTP colon slash slash I. Daily mail. Co. UK slash I slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 20 slash 10 slash 48 52 A 2 B 6 0 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 5 2 9 1 6 9 1 image A 4 underscore 1516445145691. JPG height equals 888, width equals 634, alt equals an RNL like crew heads out on the luck as the search for the missing men continues. Class equals blocks border img share, greater than she said. Villagers were doing all they could to help those affected, adding. It's a very sad community and our love and prayers are for the families. There are young children involved and our hearts go out to them. A number of Coast Guard teams, police divers, RNLI lifeboats, a Coast Guard helicopter and local boats were all involved in the search yesterday. A Coast Guard spokesman said, attempts were made last night with a remotely operated underwater vehicle to investigate the fishing vessel which has come to rest on the seafloor. However, poor visibility hampered those efforts. R.10.L.I. Spokesman Henry Weaver said four of its lifeboats had been involved in the search. He added, it has been a really good community, effort search-wise. There have been a lot of local boats out helping. A friend of Mr. McDougall, who did not wish to be named, said, as many boats as could go out went out. Describing the former Tarbert Academy pupil as a nice, decent guy, they added, they were a nice family. You would always see Duncan and his wife Dawn together. He clearly adored his children and Dawn. They had been going out together since they were young. Investigations into the cause of the accident are now taking place. A Police Scotland spokesman said the search for the missing men was due to resume this morning.